Hello everyone. You're probably wondering why I'm sitting on the ground. My room is in no state to be filmed right now, and also I reorganized the whole room for a video, but I realized <laughs> I forgot about my plan with me. I'm filming this after I've reorganized, but before I'm posting that video. So that's why I am sitting on the ground. So here we are on the ground, days away from November. I can't believe it's almost November. I'm a broken record every single month. I'm like, I can't believe it's August. I can't believe it's September. I can't believe it's October, but I really can't believe it's November. The year is almost over. And it's kind of a weird thing because I do feel like 2022 has lasted a long time. When I think about me moving into this apartment in January, that seems like a really, really long time ago, but it also feels like I just moved in. Like it doesn't feel like I've been in this apartment for 10 months. So it's crazy that like it's almost Christmas and it's almost 2023. I'm excited for 2023. I prefer odd numbers. I don't know. I just feel like I resonate better with them. So I always seem to enjoy like an odd numbered year better. Except for 2017. I feel like I hated that year. So if you are brand new here, my name is Alexis. I'm 25. I live in New York City and I do a plan with me every single month. I've been doing them for over a year. And for every single plan with me, I use the website Notion. This is not sponsored at all. Not sponsored by Notion. I recently saw someone being sponsored by Notion though. And that was very, very intriguing to me. If anyone at Notion is watching this, I'm available. So I use Notion. It is an online platform. It reminds me of a bullet journal, but online it's where you can plan literally anything you want. I pretty much keep track of my entire life in Notion with the exception of my day-to-day -day calendar. I use Google Calendar for that. I know there is like a widget that you can put in to sync your Google Calendar and your Notion, but I don't really feel the need to do that. I don't know. For some reason, I like keeping those two things separate. Besides that, I plan everything else in Notion and I plan my big monthly and yearly goals here. And that's what we're gonna do today for November. I think that's all the housekeeping I have. I guess we didn't reflect on October. October was a good month. I felt like it went by really quickly. And I know I say that about every single month, but October felt especially quick. And I just, I feel like I felt a lot of emotions in October and I was kind of all over the place and I'm still kind of all over the place. And now there's people in my hallway yelling. We're gonna let them walk past. So I feel like I got a lot done in October. October has been an incredible month of growth for my channel. Today while I'm filming this, it's October 27th. So I have what, like four more days. So let's get into my notion and let's plan November. Here is my Notion. Uh, back in September, I totally redid my Notion. I started it from scratch and I made this entire template myself. And if you're interested in the template, I'll link it below. I finally made it downloadable. I made a little community post about that, but if you're new here or if you missed it, it is downloadable now and it's all for free. So grab it while you can. Here's my homepage. I don't know why this says you've reached free usage limit never has said that before so let's go to my homepage. let's change the month which is november this is gonna get weird my arm is like reaching across upcoming events this month thanksgiving and that's it i actually have like nothing planned for november right now it's really bad no plans no plans at all. So that's all I really do on the homepage. My old one, I would change things every single month and have my weekly stuff on there. And it was just a mess. So I like it being simple. And at the end of the month, I'll reflect in my monthly reflection, monthly calendar. I literally don't add anything to this calendar. I just kind of have it to see the days. So first is my daily to-do, which I have not filled out today. And that's probably why I'm super rushed to film this and I'm running out of time. But if I were to fill it out this morning, it would say cycling class, film plan. <laughs> with me call eye doctor answer emails voice lesson dance class and what have i done today i cycled i'm filming this right now i called my eye doctor but i have not done these three things so here is super simple i literally use this checklist every single day and i didn't do that in my old template but in the last two months i've really been taking taking advantage of this. Next, um, weekly agenda. So this is where I fill out what I'm going to do during the week. So this has an old week in it. This I don't really use that much because I have my Google Calendar, but every once in a while I'll look at it. I'm not really gonna fill it out right now because A, I'm filming this on a Thursday. B, I literally don't know any of my plans for the rest of the week. And it's Halloween weekend, so that's not great. I should probably know what I'm doing. Next is goals. So let's see if I accomplished my monthly goals last month. Here are my goals. Find a voice teacher. Did that. Can you believe it? If you've been watching my plan with me, I've actually had this on my list of goals for like nine months, 10 months, and I finally did it. I actually have a voice lesson in like 20 minutes that I have to leave for. And it has been 
so amazing like I am so 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 happy that I signed up for voice lessons I know I kept saying I needed to do it but I was really scared and I felt like I hadn't sang in so long and I'm feeling so great about it get two brand deals I actually did do that start going to the gym regularly I did do that I've been going so often read two books you know I didn't do that I read half a book and get a massage I I did that wow okay so October was busy and I just said I feel like nothing really happened but I did get a lot done in October and I actually did my goals which is very impressive because I feel like every month I'm like what were my monthly goals and I didn't do any of them. Now we need some new goals. Go to bed earlier. I keep going to bed at 1 a.m. It's so bad, I can't wake up. Submit to three auditions. I kind of slacked with submitting to auditions this month. I'm a performer if you're new here, um, but I also work from home and I do YouTube. Take more yoga. Yoga is something that I've always hated, but I'm trying to learn how to like it because my body is like super messed up. Use better posture, don't miss a YouTube upload because this month I did miss a few and it was mostly logistics like I missed an upload because I was working on another video it was all like because of YouTube it wasn't like laziness or lack of ideas I have so many ideas right now it's just like timing and time management is really the reason why I haven't been able to get stuff out um, I think these are pretty good oops I didn't archive my goals Oh well. And then we have my long-term goals. So sign up for voice lessons. I'm gonna move that over. Yeah, I'm liking these goals right now. I don't really know any other long-term goals right now that I want. So I'm just gonna leave this as is right now. But as you can see, once I finish it, I move it to complete. Oh wait, so I signed up. So let's move that to complete. All right, social media. My content calendar, this is where I plan my content. I'm kind of chaotically behind with it. So this is kind of what I did this month. Um, I'm not gonna show you next month because it's a surprise. And then we have content trackers, which is where I track stuff for my Instagram, YouTube, blog, and TikTok. For Instagram, I say this every month, but I'm not really a big Instagram person, like business-wise, I just kind of post for fun. I mean, I am a big Instagram person, but I, I actually got a brand deal this month that was just for Instagram. Well, it was a gifting, so that was really cool, but I more just use it for fun. Like I don't have that many followers on Instagram. I think I have like, well, we're gonna see how many followers I have. So at the beginning of October, I had 1,633. Let's see how many I have gained. 1,743. Okay, that's like actually not that bad. So I gained about 110 and I gained almost 100 the month before. So that's actually pretty good Instagram growth. I am assuming it's all of you guys. So if you follow my Instagram, thank you. Okay, YouTube, our favorite part. So here's all my like pages up here where I can dump ideas or content um, and my monthly YouTube growth. So let's do November. So I'm currently at 17,080 subscribers. That is insane. I have gained over 3,000 subscribers this month. That's probably my biggest jump that I've had since like last February to March. I'm at 109,000 watch time hours. And here's the craziest part. I'm at 1,047,000 views. Like that is actually insane to me that I have hit a million views. Thank you. Like I literally can't even express my thank yous enough for everybody who watches my videos, whether you just subscribed to me today, you're just watching me right now, you've subscribed to me forever. A million views is like such a crazy number and I feel like that number has been kind of diluted with like TikTok and you know, someone will hit a million views in a day and they'll be like, oh, this video only got a million, I wanted to get five million, but it's like in the scheme of things, like that is crazy. Like that's a whole city. That's a whole population somewhere. Like that is just, I don't know. It's really crazy and I'm so thankful. So thank you so much to everybody who has been supporting my channel over the past two years. I had my two year birthday the other day. It's really crazy. And we're just gonna ignore blog and TikTok because I haven't had a TikTok since August because I have bad anxiety with it. I'm gonna try to get it back soon, but it's not time yet. And my blog is still not off the ground. Back to that not enough time in the day thing. So now we have books. Book recommendations, when people recommend me books, I add it here. The bookshelf is things I've read. You can see it's a very small list. I'm gonna try to grow that this month. Um, book club, my book club is kind of disbanded. I have a tab for it in case it ever comes back. Apartment, this is where I can add things I need for my apartment. I want a big plant, adding that to the list. Oh, and I actually do have a new dresser. Vision board, this is my 2022 vision board and my summer one, which summer is over. It's almost, fall's almost over. I'm gonna make my 2023 vision board soon, I guess. That's really crazy. Routines, my morning and night routine, which I actually should like check this off every day, 
but you know I don't. It's a good plan if I just stuck to it. Fitness is where I can log my workouts. <laughs> As you can see, I, um, I've been taking a lot of classes, not doing like my own workouts. So this is embarrassingly empty. I'm hoping to use this in November. And career. This is where I log all of my dance classes. If I go to an audition or film an audition. Ooh, and now I can start filling out my voice journal, which I really need to do. I'm not really gonna go into it because it's personal. That is our November plan with me. I feel like this was short and sweet and to the point. I'm super thankful for everyone who watches my plan with me each month. They definitely help me each month and I hope they help you if you are planning along with me or take any inspiration from my plan with me. So I have to go or else I'm gonna be really late to where I'm going. So I'm gonna leave. But thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for 17,000 subscribers and a million views. That is so awesome. And I'm so excited to post in November. I think my content is going a really cool way. And I said in my last vlog that I feel like it's the beginning of like a new era of my YouTube channel. And I don't really know what that means yet, but I'm excited to figure it out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing November. I hope you had a good October and I'll talk to you next time. Oh, and if you haven't yet, please subscribe and like this video. Okay. Talk to you later.